David Erdos with poem 16 from Unease and Verses from Difficult Times. A sequel to the previous of sorts. The Secret Shame. When you have to be silent about what you are because of the shame in the name spelt by others, then, as with past days or Peter's first denial of Christ, danger is spread, impossibly thick, blood as butter, or rather the threat of blood rises, its pressure perhaps reaching spike. And suddenly the world holds its breath after having that breath broiled by Covid. With news is the next sharp injection and there is no vaccine at all for the germ that has lain under the skin for as long it would seem as all sinew, as the Middle East having fractured makes every bone brittle and every moral upheld more infirm. Will America intervene as China calligraphies on the margins, after watching us cower and destroy ourselves all the more? And who will rake the ashes that fly through the warp in the wind made by missiles? In this new Next Testament story, will a Messiah appear to walk through heaven's door and re-emerge onto streets that are now full of landmines, while we in England grow more detached within pubs? It's all people have wanted for months the chance to compete at the bar and see nothing, but the next lager coming, while lugers are bound over there and screams club whatever reason was won in 1948. That's long over. If it's not Mumbai or Haifa or Tel Aviv or Tehran, it's Washington State or Parliament Fields in Westminster. Which sort of war rages and runs rampage right now? To whose plan? Perhaps the world really does rest on the backs of that infinite number of turtles. If so, as we topple, we're spinning, no doubt, on a top that is already starting to slow and cast us all into orbits in which the stars themselves become signals and not destinations to save or to seek as skies stop. War is always something else over there until it is over here. We're all Jewish, and more importantly, we're all Palestinians too. Indians, Pakistanis, Chinese, and those in Hong Kong, we're all Chauvin. We are George Floyd and the countless. We are the eternal disappeared and the found. I do not want to teach the world how to sing, as a song at best must explain things. But I want to bring the world back to poems as poems contain common ground and perhaps common prayer or common sense retranslated into a new code for being. For while poems naturally can be fires, it is the embers within that astound. Behaviour is faith and language now is religion. For that secret shame to be mastered, the waves it creates must be drowned and folded into themselves so that we may all sail and speak through a surface that no one can part. They won't need to. But as Jerusalem burns beside Gaza and all systems suffer, I still need these words to wonder just which sort of waiting force will be crowned. David Erdos, May the 18th, 2021.